So this is our TP-Link XC220 G3V V2 ONU. My ONU version is Indian version and its hardware version is 2.8. This is the first page and this is the gateway IP address of my ONU. You can get gateway IP from here. Just type IP config and uh, go to Ethernet and uh, this is the gateway IP. Or you can go to TP-Link modem.net. That will also redirect you to 192.168.1.1. So I'm now setting the password and after setting password, we can log in. This is the landing page. It takes you to the quick setup page. You need to set your region. Otherwise, uh, you cannot set your telephone. After this, you need to go to next page and it will take you to the, this page registration status. For me, it's ePON. It might be GPON for you, but the setup is going to be same let's go to next and we do not need to do anything over here just go to advanced go to network and simply delete the default interface i will be setting up this interface for internet so this will be internet and here goes your vlan id it should be provided by your isp the username and password will also be provided by your isp connection mode it's just set it to auto authentication mode also set it to auto generally it is chap or ms chap but set it to auto if you have ipv6 then only you enable ipv6 you can confirm it just set up the ipv41 and you can go to system tools here you can go to system tools and log and you can check if you have ipv6 if you are receiving ipv6 setup request then only enable this i have ipv6 and i am also having internet via ipv6 so i am going to enable this addressing type set it to auto for no controversies default gateway auto if you don't get internet but still have ipv6 then you can use the tunnel feature with tunnel you can use 6rd or 6 to 4 to tunnel your ipv6 internet packets through ipv4 so this is ds light i don't need to enable tunnel i have ipv6 now for the mtu part one thing to clarify here that before my broadband network gateway upgrade in calcutta telephones the older bng used 1460 as MTU that caused a lot of problems for me like various websites like github.com azure chat gpt then blues oracle cloud these websites did not open after rebooting the modem after rebooting i need to just disable the interface and re-enable it only after that i could access those sites even pinging was not possible after thorough researching and querying through the internet i found that it was an MTU issue even though bng advertises the MTU size it supports but there was some kind of bug in the ISP side that caused me this issue now you can use Fullcon NAT that will simply isolate your local devices from accessing each other I don't use it because I have a home server now for the DNS server I prefer to use Cloudflare as the default one I don't use my ISP BSNL DNS they have a lot of things blocked and the secondary is the Google DNS same for IPv6 this is the Google one you can use Mac cloning if your ISP requires and here we are done IPv6 is also up let's go to LAN settings same here and for IPv6 enable these two the RDNSS is important because it needs to advertise the DNS servers to your mobile devices otherwise it will pick up your ISP DNS servers so here we are done and we have got IPv6 and IPv4 also and we are getting ping also ping response now let's set up or telephone part so for telephone it is going to be voice over IP VOIP or VLAN ID it should be supplied by your ISP I think generally for VOIP it is dynamic IP here in this thing you can enable IPv6 and the VOIP part is ready and now we need to go to telephone PSNL is not listed here so it will be other here and the telephone number goes here for me it is 91 then followed by a steady code then followed by my landline number registrar address supplied by your ISP authentication ID same as your phone number password supplied by your ISP then go to advanced and SIP proxy this is same as the registrar address outbound proxy this is very important you should ask this to your ISP for me they provided me the IP address and I'm done also check this checkbox register via outbound proxy and we are done now go to advanced settings here and also enable call waiting so internet and telephone has been set up perfectly you can check you can add emergency numbers and speed dial numbers now the security part let's go there enable denial of service protection set these filters to high and it's done qos it is not required because this qos is for upload bandwidth i recommend it to setting it to
if i am 100 mbps but otherwise it is not required and reboot schedule just enable it because rebooting is required because after 24 hours your isp will force uh, ip change at that time if you do not reboot your router there might be some old data in your router cpu cache that can cause lag better to restart after 24 hours for time settings if you cannot access time if your router cannot access time just set this to time.nist.gov i don't have any issues i just use the get time from the internet and it's done you can check statistics here system log here for wi-fi settings i recommend you to use dual stack wpa2 and wpa3 for latest security and for wps don't use the wps pin number because it is prone to be breaching prone to hackers who can breach to your wi-fi network don't use the pin number use the push button configuration now if you want to access your router from mobile then there is the tp-link aginet app you can google it here it is available in play store it's a nice app you can check in your mobile just log in create tp-link id log in through that enable two-factor authentication access your router but i recommend it to use only to view your settings view your connections do not modify any settings using the tp-link aginet app only use it to restart or view your connected devices ip address and all that do not modify settings and another thing is if you want to access your router or your network from an outside device that is not on your network like when you are outside your home and you want to access your network to see the connected devices and all that then there is a feature called the dynamic dns that is ddns you have to enable this in order to get that but before that you have to enable tp-link cloud you have to create that account which you created for this aginet app you have to sign in with this and then you have to go to dynamic dns and you have to create one of your unique address to open your dynamic dns service for this page and you can access it i have already done that i am using tp-link dynamic dns i have one address domain name as bound and the other i have just added now in order to access it from an outside network you need to go to administration and you have to enable these first enable the local management via https first this one next remote management via https and select this to all and you have to save it only then you can access it from an outside network but i recommend it to not enable the http access one and for icmp ping keep it local do not add the remote one it's my recommendation i use it that's it and i think we are done